Well, we are going to get to Nate in just a moment, but right now, Nate is not affecting us at this time. So it's mostly cloudy for us to partly cloudy skies for the day. And we are looking at 50% chances of rain, even though we haven't had much in the way of rainfall right now. And our temperatures are going to be rising throughout the day as well. Currently, it's 87 degrees. So we're falling right in between that 86 to 89 degree mark. And those winds have picked up just a little bit out of the east at 14 miles per hour. And we are looking at high dew points and high humidity and so it feels very steamy very very tropical out there we had some rain early this morning located out in the Gulf of Mexico and those showers have now moved away from us and throughout the day we really haven't seen a whole lot in the way of activity because the low pressure system that was around yesterday producing all the clouds and the rain that we were getting that is what has taken those rain showers out into the Gulf so right now we've just got the cloudy weather to partly cloudy skies and we don't have the rain yet but it's coming. So later on this afternoon, we're going to see those showers moving on through here. And some of this rain can be heavy as it comes on in. Pretty much as we saw yesterday, we'd get pockets of light rain and then pockets of heavy showers. You had to dart in between all of the activity. But that's what was going on for the most part. And so that's what we'll see throughout the nighttime hours tonight is a 50% chance of showers. And by the way, we keep those chances up all the way through the weekend. Even though Nate is not going to be so much of a West Coast Florida problem, we are still going to have a plenty of moisture coming on in across from the tropics. And so that's what's going to allow for all the rainfall we're going to be seeing. In the meantime, we've got Nate right here. You can see how big and sprawling the system is. But once he gets into the Gulf of Mexico, he's going to get a little bit more compact and a little bit more fearsome as well because we are expecting this tropical storm to become a hurricane at some point on Sunday before it makes landfall somewhere between Louisiana and the panhandle of Florida. So watches are in effect and warnings are in effect across that part of the country, uh, ac across the, the Gulf Coast area, all the way over to the panhandle of Florida, where we are expecting to see this system make landfall sometime on Sunday. So in the just a few hours, it has really picked up forward speed, moving towards the north-northwest at 21 miles per hour, now at 50 mile per hour winds. But once it gets into that warmer water of the Gulf, it's going to rapidly intensify 60 mile per hour winds to 80 mile per hour winds by the time it makes landfall. And we're expecting to see this become a category one very possibly as it moves into the, into the uh, northern sections. Hurricane watches are in effect all along this area, and we are looking at just the tip of the panhandle and just over towards the west over Louisiana where we're going to see landfall taking place. And then it's going to be moving on up into the Tennessee Valley and then continue to make its way across into the northeastern part of the country. So good news for us on the west coast because there's enough distance between this storm and us along the coastline that we're just going to get a little bit of effect from it. We will see higher seas over the next couple of days and of course we'll see the possibility of very strong dangerous rip currents and that's what we're, we will experience. For boaters today, small craft advisories are in effect. Winds will be out of the east at 15 knots, seas 2 to 3 feet, and a moderate chop out on the bay. And this is what's going on over the next several days. We've got our temperatures right around 86 to 89 degrees, a good 50 to 60 percent chance of rain, just in time for the weekend, Scott.